Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great night. Ah, here we are, Friday Eve, correct? Oh yes, well, I guess, um, for, for some of us, for others of us, it's a Saturday morning. So hello Aussies, I love you all. I hope you're all doing a, or having a really great day, night, and uh, welcome. I am Lisa Harden from the Stamping Zoo, coming to you live from beautiful Boise, Idaho. Uh, got a little chilly here today, like everywhere else, right? But I'm not complaining because it's pretty mild considering all the crazy stuff that's going on in our, in our country's weather right now. It's kind of ludicrous, huh? So let's just pop over here. Let me make sure I can see you. I'm going low tech today. Yes, I'm just, okay, I still can't see myself. That's a bad sign. Where did I go live? No, nope, you guys can see me. Okay, let me double check. One time I was on my personal page and um, then I was wondering like, gosh, where is everyone? <laughs> and new people were popping on. People I knew in college. <laughs> okay, let's see here if we can catch up. Am I on my personal page? I, or I mean, am I on my business page, ladies? Can you tell? Hello, Lori. I can kind of see you guys. I'm looking on the comments from my, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm looking on the comments on my phone up above. So I won't be watching like this the whole time because that would be really weird crafting. <laughs> and I'm going kind of low tech right now. So uh, let's see. Business page. Okay, Cindy, thank you. Well, I'm just going to kind of rock and roll and let my internet catch up. I can see we needed to move that around, move that over a little bit. So we're going to work with hello ladybug. Oh my gosh. Hello ladybug. I'm going to start saying that to my friends <laughs> just because I think it sounds so cute. Well, hello ladybug. <laughs> sounds like something Southern, doesn't it? Okay. So I had a lot of fun with this one last night. Well, for Pete's sake, there I am. My gosh, my computer, you would think I had like, I don't know, DSL or something and not 5G, but there you go. If that's the worst thing that's going on in my life, that's pretty good. So hello everyone. I can see now that I'm kind of focused here. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Uh, this is so fun to work with. The last couple of nights I've been kind of creating with it off and on and I love it. You guys, it's so much more versatile than, well, than I first thought. I mean, I, of course it's adorable, right? But I thought, okay, well, um, do I really need a stamp set with ladybugs? Ah, oh, how naive am I? I mean, seriously, <laughs> haven't I learned my lesson by now? Gosh. So the answer was yes, I need the ladybugs. Now, a couple of years ago, we had, um, some ladybugs, I think it was in celebration, and they are adorable. They're one of the few sets that I still have. Well, hello, everyone. Gosh, I see my teammates coming on, and I see Aussies, and I see bingo players, and just all the stampers. So, hello. So, yeah, uh, I needed the stamp set, I decided. It's so fun and much more versatile than you might think. And actually, I'm going to show you the punch. Okay, Tego, you're finito. You're done. Go out in the living room. Go on. You had your snack. It's over. <laughs> God, I went outside to, or I went in the living room to pay attention to them and have, we all had dinner together, you know, which involves me feeding them. And then they went back to sleep. And I was like, well, fine, then I'll come back in the craft room. So, of course, then they're on my six. So I guess they can just hang out. They probably heard the ladybugs are really awesome and they couldn't stand it. <laughs> so this is the punch. It punches out the body of the bug and the um, wings. But again, you could make flowers out of this and I intend to. Uh, probably not tonight. Tonight we're going to kind of use it as it, is, as it is intended. And I actually think... Um, I'm going to come live tomorrow night, and tomorrow night I'm going to be using it um, maybe maybe in other ways besides just a straightforward ladybug, and we're going to combine it with some really cool sentiments. So you're getting a, uh, I don't know, a double feature? Yeah, so this is the first part of the double feature, okay? 
And anyway, it has lots of cute sentiments and they're kind of small, which I think is really fun, which actually led me to the project that I did that I did for this for tonight um, because I was looking at all these tiny little sentiments and I thought, you know what's cute <laughs> besides a tiny sentiment is a tiny card. And so um, you've probably guessed by now, but what's in this box are cards. <laughs> and uh, let's see here. Look, I even made room for a little candy. Shocking. Not. <laughs> so I put a little Starburst in there. You could put like any, you could put like, um, uh, what am I, a uh, chapstick or just any little extra thing. I like a little extra thing when I, when I get a little prezzy. Um, but here's what we're going to make tonight. That's the real present. And that is some three by three cards that I kind of think they're really like special. These are just made to be on three by three cards, aren't they? Okay, so there's our cute little ladybug and she has a wink of Stella wings. <laughs> what? Roz, you say no more commenting because it's not printing when I'm typing. I saw that. <laughs> oh gosh. And then um, here's another one with the other. You can bug me anytime. I mean, come on. I know, Lori. So cute. <laughs> we love everything in mini, and I just left them plain inside because there's not a lot of room to begin with. You're basically going to sign your name. And then this is a little bit of stamping and a punch that sort of coordinates and just says, it's a good day. It's a good day. Now, wouldn't this be cute if you uh, put it into a little arrangement, um, you know, or just obviously gave them as the cards a little bit of candy or a chapstick or, I don't know, a big fat diamond ring. Uh -huh. That would be fun. <laughs> and then uh, we have envelopes, right? Like, don't be silly. We have three by three envelopes. They're in the annual catalog. And I just took some of the stamps. And, um, <clears throat> of course, I had to stamp on the cute little envelopes. And so that's what's in the box. Kathy Sanford, your internet is glitchy tonight. Darn it. I know that when that happens to me, lots of times, um, it's during someone's live, of course, and the replay is always better, but we want you here with us live, right? Yes, we do. Who just got this? Lori, you just got this? Nice. Okay, good. Well, I hope you're going to stamp along with me, Lori, or um, at least show me some projects, okay, so I can get some inspiration. And then again, here's the... Here's the cover. It really looks like it's a, just a tiny bit bigger than playing cards, but uh, that's what it looks like. This patterned paper, both this piece and the pieces that I used on the front are from the um, this huge pack of DSP called Pattern Party. Let me just show that to you right now. You can purchase it when you... Um, have a purchase of $150 or more, you can use it. You can use your stamp and rewards on it. Hello, Carla. I knew you would like them. And you know what, Carla? You're going to like what I make tomorrow even more, as if that's possible, right? Okay, so, oh, <laughs> I was looking upside down. Okay, so in the annual catalog under host and join, you won't have these tabs unless you added them, but towards the back, there are three stamp sets. See, I'm going low tech tonight. I'll tell you why in a minute, but um, there are three really cool host stamp sets. And then this pack of paper, and I don't think this picture is okay. They showed it as best they could, but there's 48 sheets. You get four each of each design. One side is spectacularly colored, and the other side is spectacularly black and white. So that is something you can choose again when you have an order over $150 and right now is a great time to do an order of over $150 like all times a great time but in particular it's nice now because that gives you up to three celebration rewards and um, <clears throat> I will also give you my gnome kits for free so how about that have we talked about the gnomes yet oh the gnomes they're so sweet um, if you ordered the gnomes or got them free with a purchase, 
they have they're traveling to you or they have arrived there's a video for them and there's um, special page just for you so again if you are interested in the gnomes please just private message me or look on my look on the page that you're on now and I, I describe all the different ways you can get them and yes you can even get them for free so yeah the paper pack it's something it's pretty good I gotta say so anyway that's where the paper comes from if you're wondering I'm using our iridescent white ribbon and I've used it on one of the cards, but on the other one, I used a couple of different ribbons. And then of course, the iridescent rhinestones because they go together, right? And there's, these are the larger ones, but there's three different sizes of these in the same package. They are in the new mini catalog. And yes, you need them. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that. <laughs> they are iridescent. They pick up lots of different colors. And so they become super versatile, just about as versatile as these that I use, which are the classic matte dots. Take a look at these. They come, they're in black, gray, vanilla, and then white, all in the same package. And there's 144, so two different sizes of all of these. And again, I've used some of these. They're perfect for a little mini card, don't you think? And I'll show you how I made this little, little everything's going to be little tonight, so I'll show you how I made this little tag. It's okay, Brene. I hate it when the internet glitches, right? And thank you so much for sharing, Julie. You remind me to please ask you if you would be so kind. Share my video. I'll even ask you to go, I'll even ask you for a little more tonight. I don't know. I'm feeling like, you know, I'm feeling like I can go for it. Keep commenting like you do because I love that. Uh, give me lots of thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. Uh, you can even give me a heart or the little smiley face that's hugging <laughs> for a couple of reasons. It makes me really happy. <laughs> and for another one, it makes Facebook happy. And they say, hey, whatever's going on over here, we better show it to other people. So that is how uh, we grow the Stamping Zoo. You might wanna keep it all for yourself, but. I promise I'll take care of everyone, okay? Uh, so I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I sell all of the products I'll be using tonight. If you are in the United States and you don't have current catalogs, please send me a private message. I'll be very happy to send you catalogs or um, you can ask me any questions you have about paper crafting and I'll do my very best to answer them, okay? I have been paper crafting for about 30 years. So while I don't know every answer, I know a lot of answers. Oh, you know, I should just say that. Oh, thank you everyone for sharing. Everybody's coming on to share the love. I appreciate you so much. Okay, well, I think we're gonna just jump in and um, have a couple of news items that we'll talk about. And we'll talk about, um, you know, the goings on over here in Big Boise, Idaho or in particular, in my life. <laughs> That's a little smaller, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna put our cards over here for inspiration, but don't worry, they're not too far. Now, this is it's the favorite red. If this has any cherry, I'm gonna throw the cherry away. <laughs> so, I had no idea you guys liked, oh, there we go, that's good. In fact, one's watermelon and one, oh, they're watermelon. Okay, those are pretty good. I do not like the cherry starburst gross. They're too sharp tasting or something. <laughs> but yeah, I was getting read the riot act on somebody else's page when I told them that. I hate the cherry. Strawberry all the way. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Why don't we start with the box? Let's start with the box. Yes, I even made the box and I worked it out myself. And you know what? I only had to make five prototypes. <laughs> Five prototypes. Wow. <laughs> My geometry teacher would be so proud or not. <laughs> but I used, this time at least, I got a little smarter and I used retired cardstock, Wisteria Wonder, if any of you remember that. Beautiful color. And uh, guess what? After only five tries, I came up with this cool little box. I'm going to put it right here for you. <clears throat> I'm going to hold it down. If you want to take a screenshot at this time, Whoops, let me get it. Let me get it looking good. And if you want to take a screenshot 
so you can have all the measurements, then go ahead and do that. There's a little, there's a little uh, wonky jog here because our this is a reusable box. Okay, when I made the first couple, they weren't reusable, and then I had to figure out how to put a lid on it. <laughs> so there you go. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't been snapped up by some, you know, uh, engineering firm. <laughs> Okay, so there's your screenshot if you would like it. And um, I actually pre-scored the paper because here's the deal. When I'm trying to do this stuff and talk to you, I've noticed, and I think you probably have as well, I can't do them both very well together. I can do one or the other really well. So finally today, I was like, okay, so new color, this one is in the Melon Mambo, right? But I chose Flirty Flamingo. We're living in the brights. Remember how I told you like my heart is in the brights. So I love the bright color family. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then that's another reason why you need the catalog. But Stampin' Up! coordinates everything so easily for us that um, it just makes it really easy to start your projects. So with that, I'm going to get my bone folder out because it's really kind of a must when you are working on 3D projects to give your um, give your 3D projects a nice crisp folds. Okay, so oh my goodness, and look at that. <gasps> That's a pretty close match. Now I knew when my nail tech painted my nails, I told her, we call this color Flirty Flamingo. But um, I don't know that I stopped to see exactly how close it was, and very close. Hello, Pam, hello, Mary Ellen, and Kathy Sanford. Hello, Kathy Sanford is celebrating eight years smoke-free. That's awesome, Kathy Sanford. Get a round of applause for me. That's seriously cool, okay? So good for you. Craft more, right? Just gives you more time to craft. <laughs> okay, so this really was pretty straightforward. I knew that my um, cards were three and a quarter square. And of course, I wanted a little allowance on either side. I don't want to squish them as well as, like I said, I wanted to put a little something in the top of the box. So um, that's how I came up with the measurements. That's as technical as it got. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> You're so welcome. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and I'm, thanks for being here tonight, sharing and all that good stuff. So now we just do a little surgery on, I hope you guys can see the, um, oh my goodness, my screen has not moved for a long time time. I hope I'm not frozen for the rest of you. This thing's ridiculous. I don't know what's going on. I've got a traffic jam on the internet tonight. Anyway, as long as you guys can see that I'm cutting right now, then that's fine. Um, it helps when I have the screen in front of me because then I can see, I can place my project in the best place for you guys, but that's all right. You'll let me know. Oh, good. I'm not frozen. Thank you, Dina. And hello. Very nice to see you. I'm frozen like the tender over here. We got the bad internet on over on Carter Street. <laughs> God. Oh, man. Okay, so what I'm doing this for is that it helps you to put the box together. And it also looks nicer. Can you believe that? Looks nicer. Yep. Okay. Oh, I have this kind of backwards. I hate it when that happens. Huh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, it's not really backwards. I just had to flip it over. Not frozen in Mountain Home. Oh, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay. So then on this one, I take a little angled cut on both tabs. Okay. So there is... Trish. Trish is one of the newest members of my team. I'm so glad to see you, Trish. I hope you're having a great night. And okay, so everything down there is done. Now this is where, see, so one side, the front, you take the tab off. 
okay? But then you want the top to close down. So that's what makes this up here, this template look kind of weird, huh? Oh, Michelle, yours live froze too for you. That's annoying, isn't it? We go through all this other stuff to make sure everything's working and then, oh well. Okay, so this one, like I said, I take off quite a bit. I'm gonna cut down on this for right now so I can get a little bit of this out of my way. Uh, it helps me. Okay, just have good lighting, right? And maybe some eyes that are a little younger than mine. Okay, now I, I know it's an extra step. I realize it. <laughs> Erica Sarwin that makes 3D boxes all the time would have this thing made already. But you know what? You know, I'm not Erica Sarwin. I'm not that fancy. Okay. And then we're going to take this part off completely. Okay. This is going to be the front. And so this will freak out Anne Marie. You can take big scissors and cut it off if you want. Um, to make that a lot easier, but I'm feeling pretty steady. I don't have the jitters tonight, so <laughs> I'm okay. I don't know that I get the jitters. <laughs> okay. Um, let me just cut that off like that. It's in my way. Okay, so I'll go ahead and come down this way. Uh, let me make sure. Yes. We're going to take this tab off right here here. Okay. And then cut a little V and I know I can cut a little V on this and then the rest of it comes off. This guy comes off from the top down. Michelle, I do too. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to make this, I'll cut your box. I'll cut this box for you, okay? <laughs> I'll cut your card boxes. <laughs> okay, now over here, we need our tab to have a little. And then, and then you can round corners. You can do all sorts of stuff when you're making these cute little 3D pieces and parts. It really is kind of fun to figure it out and... <laughs> Yes, I realize I took five times. But um, part of that was because I changed my mind, honest to goodness. It wasn't because I forgot something. It was because I just changed my mind, okay? All right, so now we have, right, we have the same template. Let's hope. Let me see it. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, you know what? While I'm here, since I've made this before, I'm going to bring in my little retired half-inch punch, but... They're not, you know, it's not difficult to find. Or any punch you'd like to use. And I'm going to make a notch here. I'm just eyeballing the middle. But if you don't feel brave, then just measure it. <laughs> okay. And so then over here on this piece that is a quarter of an inch, I'm going to put some tear and tape. Now you can make that a little bit bigger if you want to because the tear and tape is wider than a quarter of an inch. But... And guess what? I wasn't changing my measurements, so um, I knew I'd mess it up. So what I did, oh, my screen, frozen, dead to the world. Let me get out and come right back in and see if that helps. Yeah, not really. That's okay. All right, so I am putting this down right here up to the score line, okay? And you can cut it if you want to, but really all I need to do is bring in my take your pick tool. So handy. And then I'm just going to fold this back on itself. Okay, so I'm flipping it over. Making sure that it stays off of the front of the box. I may have even got a little messy there. You can use, um, you can, this is my other recommendation, okay, the mono. But then, once you have this, just fold your tab over like that, bring this one in, okay, and fold it so that it lays flat. See that? And that's how you make the box. 
magic. It's magic. Only took five tries. Okay. So the bottom, we are going to go ahead and glue it. Oh, thanks for the hearts. It only took five times. <laughs> it was made with love. <laughs> Lord. Okay, now I can see myself. So, okay. Here we go. So again, I am just going to use some tape. So with any 3D projects, right, um, I, I feel like I say this all the time, but I'm going to keep saying it because some of you, somebody out there hasn't heard this before, but with any 3D projects, I like to use Seal Plus, Terran Tape, Mono Liquid Glue. Um, Seal is great, fantastic, probably stronger than we need for everyday cards. But if you have anything that's interactive and movable pieces and all that business, it's just a good idea to use a little bit extra, a little bit stronger adhesives. Because for one thing, people want to play with them. Do you know how many times I've opened and closed that box today? And I made it. Okay, I already know what, what it does. Wasn't that surprising? <laughs> and then on this one, I'm going to put the tear and tape down. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my scissors and put a little pressure in there since I can't really burnish it with um, both hands. Um, so that's how we make the box. Simple as that. That's it. So again, just, um, you know, take a screenshot from the beginning and that's what you want it to look like. Okay. And I will not be losing that, putting it back in my trolley right now. Okay. So then for the front, again, um, I just pre-cut some of those beautiful papers. Oh, look, again, everything's tiny. And I love this paper so much. It reminds me of that juicy, it's not juicy fruit. We talk about this. Fruit Stripes gum. I think it's called Fruit Stripes. I think lots of grandmas give it out. Mine did. The flavor lasted like three minutes. But it's so cute. You had to have it. <laughs> probably cancer causing it was striped pretty brightly if I recall <laughs> okay <clears throat> any questions yet well I'm gonna glue this so again you could make this be like really colorful and just be black and white on the outside right there's not a thing wrong with that it's very pretty but I'm just all about the color <laughs> hello Susan Susan Tabachnik, can't say you're from, I can't say you're from New York anymore. Susan moved down south. She's in Florida. I hope it's, okay, that's, something's off. I hope that it's nice and warm for you there. Oh, brother. Okay, those are for something else, I think. <laughs> that's all right. I happen to know where a paper trimmer is with a brand new cutting blade. Um, that also only took me about three times to remember to order that. So why would I write it down? That's just silly. Okay. So these, the papers need to be, these are two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So I want my white cardstock to be three by four. Now I thought that was what I cut. I think I did cut it, but I think it's somewhere else around here. I'm going to find it. It's probably what I'm going to end up stamping on or something. So that's okay. Three by four. You need two of those. And then just cut the paper down to two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. Okay. So this one, this also reminds me that if you put this glue on something and then let it dry, so it's just kind of tacky it becomes repositionable. So it's like temporary glue. So, okay. Um, so if you put it on and then it's wet, then it's permanent. It's very permanent. If you put it on and let it dry, like it just did, uh, it becomes temporary. So that definitely comes in handy, doesn't it? That's why it's called multi-glue. <laughs> Look, if you have any other questions about science or the universe, just come to me. All right. I'm so smart when it comes to stuff like that. 
No, I'm not. This paper is wrong. It is. It's off an eighth. Bad paper. <laughs> is this one wrong? No, this one's right. Okay. I'm going to have to cut that other one. It's really going to be glued by the time I get finished with it. Okay, I'm turning this over. Nice. Oh, look at that. Look at those colors. They're so beautiful. So I turned that over like an Einstein and um, it wasn't dry. <laughs> Am I cracking up anybody else tonight? Probably not, but that's okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, now this might go over your little, the hole that you, the half hole punch that you have up there at the top, but you're just gonna recut it. It's okay. And mine just barely went up there. Um, boy, that thing is off center. <laughs> I should have measured. Okay, so I'm gonna try something that might might fire back on me, but I'm gonna come over here and make my punch a little bit bigger. Nobody will ever know. See, <laughs> look how far over it is. Oh, it's too funny. Okay, so the next one, Where's that piece of paper that I keep throwing around? Here it is. I cut an eighth off of it. Do you find it helps when you slap the paper? Yes. Yes, Pat. <laughs> Bad paper. What's going on over here? Did I have the dogs cut this or what? Nah. <clears throat> told you. Please don't make me relive it. I already told you I had to make this box five times. I was enjoying it though. Okay, now this paper is pretty much lacquered and laminated. That is a testament to our strong DSP. Look at that, it just hung in there. Just hung in, okay, there we go. Okie dokie. So I'm very excited about uh, our bingo event. It's on Tuesday night. I do believe everybody that should have gotten their packages got them because the Florida ladies got theirs. And I've heard from a couple of you that said, hey, um, I'm all set. I need to fold this in half because somebody got glue on it. Weird. I know, Gabby. Woo! Okay, look, it's the most beautiful card or playing card box you've ever seen. All right, I am going to go ahead and grab this iridescent ribbon. So, this is the white iridescent, or is it? Yeah, the white iridescent glitter. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's so beautiful. Now, later on, I'm going to show you the black iridescent glimmer. Has this one is slightly softer. And um, I'm sure it's, I mean, they're the same in style, but probably different chemically or something. One of them just, just makes the other one a little more <clears throat> stiff and hard to use. Okay, where are my glue dots? Come, children, it is time. And don't even get me started on these goofy glue dots. Seriously, weren't we having a hard enough time with life right now? And then the glue dot factory decided they were gonna start putting these glue dots on the wrong side. I heard it's because they have a new holder, a glue dot holder. And guess what? It's not supposed to work very well. Like don't sue me glue dots, but I heard it's a hunk of junk. So, there you go. All that for nothing. Thanks, Corinne. Of course, if you don't make little cards, what else could you put in this? You could just fill it with candy or something. Um, let me make sure. That might be over a little too far for our decoration. Yeah, I wanna cut a little more of this off. So I want to have the seam meeting in the middle so that I can hide it with our beautiful little butterfly. Okay. <laughs> no, Kathy. So annoying, right? It's like first COVID and then the glue dots. Seriously. 
you think they would have given us a break. Okay. My brain can't relearn everything, you know? Glue dots. Okay, and then, let's see, what did I do? Oh, yes. So, we have these great heart punches that are just adorable. There's a straight and a scalloped. They're sold together, I believe. They're in the annual catalog. Okay, and um, <clears throat> you need them. <laughs> you need them. One, two, so these are the squares for our cards. Two, three. So I'm gonna cut a straight one out with this fourth piece of paper, and I'm going to get scalloped out. Let's see if this is wide enough. Oh, no. Duh. I'm sure I have some extra white around here, right? Because I cut lots of pieces and parts. Okay, this might just work, yes. Okay, so there's our scalloped. And so they nest, as you can see. And hearts just aren't for Valentine's Day, y'all. They're for everything. I'm always getting these things out and using them. They're for people you love. They're for friends. They're for going with your ladybug designs. You can use three or four of them together and make them into a four-leaf clover if you want. Trish was just talking about that. So we have all sorts of different ways. Now this one is a Melon Mambo Ladybug. Yes. So of course we're going to do a Flirty Flamingo Ladybug. So these stamps are so fun. They're two-step stamping, photopolymer, okay, they're just really fun. The size of this is quite large and it is like this is on a D block. So um, this leaf can really be its own feature. And then of course these little sentiments are just on the A block. So you have a wide range of sizes in this thing. This is the C block. Okay, that's the little, there's a ladybug that is that one that's cartoonish. And then of course there's just the one that you um, punch out. So you get your selection, whatever you'd like to do. I do need to grab my flirty for you to go. And this is what I was talking about. If you are new, how everything just coordinates. So, you know, the inks match the papers, blah, blah, blah. Before you start stamping and cutting something, it's a really good idea to see how the image is positioned in the stamp, okay? Because I really, I wanna be able to just put this in there, punch it, and go on with my life. And if you don't look at that, sometimes it seems like you always put the stamp backwards, okay? Which can still be stamped out, but just takes a little, a little extra thing. We'll talk about that, about that some other time. I'm sure I'll do it backwards some other time for you. Okay, so this is kind of handy because I can cut out the body. I'm gonna make the body a flirty flamingo and the wings flirty flamingo at the same time, okay? Great, Ooh, love it. And so this is what you're left with. Oh, my wings didn't cut out very well. I think I was looking at the body part. Easily fixed, easily fixed, my friends. Hello, Glenda from Australia. Very nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. Now, I should be using my paper piercing mat. This image is, is okay. Um, the colors faded out a little bit towards one side, but... I will use my piercing mat. These are these are large, solid images. So they really need the help of a piercing mat, extra paper, a catalog put underneath your grid paper or something like that, okay? You're good. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Okay, so the way I like the ladybug is I like this to have some dimensionals on it. Yes. Here we go. Whoops. Okay. And of course they've made that pretty easy. Ooh, that one's kind of close to the edge. Okay. All right then. That's better. 
So, um, the hair situation is a little out of control over here. I am going to be wearing a hat for the foreseeable future. <laughs> My hairstylist tested negative for COVID, but is still sick. Her one and a half year old is teething and her husband has COVID. I'm the last thing on her mind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I realize this. So, um, yeah, like every couple of days she texts me and says, I promise I'm going to call you tomorrow and we're going to work something out. And then I don't hear from her. And you know what? That's okay. Because at least I'm not trying to juggle all that. But dear Lord, the hair situation over here is getting way out of control color and cut don't even ask so um i'll just be wearing a hat for the yeah i know Roz, and i know you're not talking about me when you say poor girl amanda <laughs> i'm just like oh amanda this is a lot this is a lot for you now look at this this is not how i recommend doing this but you know what seal plus it's so handy so there's that. Now you have to use strong adhesive on this, right? Because you're you're gluing this onto uh, this textural ribbon, and so it needs some help. So there, and then finally we are going to top this off with those beautiful iridescent gems I was just raving about. I put some of these in the gnome kits, not for every gnome. Just for one gnome. They're all a little different, so it's super fun. And there's our box. Ooh, which one do you like better? I, mm, I'm having a hard time with it here. I have to, I have to make it even. I mean, I have to make it a fair fight, don't I? So I took the wink. We just call it the wink here. And wink of Stella, if you've never met her, but. If you know her, you love her. So it's a glitter pen that dries really quickly and has oodles of glitter. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to get some supplies out of the way here and get ready to make the cards. And I want you to tell me how much or which one of these you like. You can put um, melon or flirty or flamingo, whatever you like. Of course, they're you know, exactly the same. Like they were made from a machine, right? Not, but um, I did get the measurements right. So I can live with that. I'm okay with that part. Now I need my chamois. It's running around here somewhere. Julie makes a very good point. Julie, yes, the Stamparatus mats are on clearance, a dollar eighty or something like that. So if you, um, the paper piercing mat, I believe is only $5, but, um, yeah, you can get a couple of the Stamparatus spongy mats on the clearance rack right now. And also, by the way, I got a few things for Christmas um, packaging that are not current, of course, because they're on the clearance rack. But what do I care? Nobody I give gifts to is going to say, oh, I can't use this. This is, this was from the clearance rack. <laughs> so, um, anyway, like the gold pizza boxes are over there and I think they're really beautiful. And these, these sizes of cards fit great in the pizza boxes. So you might give that a look if you're over there. Okay. Let's see. What's the word? Oh, we got flirty. Lots of flirty. There's melon. I think the darker one pops more. Yes. You're right. The other one does kind of blends with the bright colors a little more. Yeah. Late to the party. Amy, I use the party is the right word. I use the pattern party uh, 12 by 12 designer series paper that you can get with, uh, well, 150 US dollar purchase you can add that and use your Stampin' Rewards to get that. So, all right, and we're glad you're here, by the way. Okay, let's roll it out 
and get ready to work on these cards that I think, you know, they're pretty cute. Can I say that? Okay, they made me smile. So why don't we just work with this one? It's your classic, right? Your classic ladybug. You can make this ladybug in any color, obviously. And um, like I said, we're gonna do some alterations tomorrow to the stamp set and the punch. And uh, I'm going to use a beautiful sentiment set. Not the, not the sentiments that came with this, but another stamp set. Here, I'm gonna show it real quick. <laughs> That's the stamp set I'm gonna use tomorrow night. So if you didn't see it, well, you're just gonna have to tune in tomorrow night. <laughs> you're just gonna have to wait and see. But I think it'll be super fun. I'm gonna do some embossing. Embossing. Everyone loves embossing. I'll tell you who's an embossing fool, and that's that Anne. Anne has turned into an embossing fool. She loves it. She embossed a little purple cupcake. She embossed it in silver first, and it's adorable. She put it in a shaker dome because, like, that's how creative she is. That Anne is turning into quite a little stamper. More than that, a good card maker. Yes. Okay, so here's our card base. Oh, look at it. Even the card base is cute. <laughs> Carla, yes, the ladybugs are happy. Even the one that doesn't even have the smiley face is happy, right? Okay, let me get these two out of the way. I'm working in a little space. I don't know why I've worked myself into this tiny, tiny little space. Now, I'm going to need some different ribbons. I'm going to use... The red sheer ribbon, we have a couple of real red ribbons. This one's in the annual catalog, okay? And then I'm going to use the red and white twine. I, this, I think this is Poppy Parade and white. Um, this is called the Fan Baker's Twine. So there's like a sports suite in the mini catalog. And this is um, one of the embellishments that comes with that. And it's really good, isn't it? Oh. And then the other colors I think are Misty Moonlight and Evening Evergreen. So in case you ever want to try those out, I'm just going to cut a little piece right now. And then that's one less thing that can be in my creative space, right? Pat, do you have the ladybugs? Do you like the ladybugs? Or are you kind of a passive on the ladybugs? What are your thoughts? Inquiring minds want to know. Well, I glue this down. <laughs> okay. I love this just kind of random stripe. You know, you can make something very similar to this just with your um, with your black Stampin' Write marker or your Stampin' Blends. Now, your blends... Um, you know, they're gonna bleed a little bit outside of the line that you draw, but that in itself can be a really attractive look depending on what kind of style you're going for. So these are three by six card bases scored at three, right? So three by three. And this paper is two and seven eighths. Pat, I must have known. It's like I was spying on you, but I wasn't spying on you, right? How fun. Okay, we need <clears throat> black cardstock. We've got great black cardstock. Yes, you think it's all the same? Hardly. Some of it doesn't have enough pigment in it, okay? Don't use cheap cardstock. I don't even want to hear about it. If you are, you need to keep that stuff to yourself. That's a dirty little secret you don't want anyone to know, okay? Only use Stampin' Up! cardstock. <laughs> Once you do, you'll see why I say that. It's for your own good. <laughs> okay. More of my Whisper White scrap here. And I am going to, this time, because we are sticking with classic, right? She's a classic. A non-GMO modified ladybug will have... Poppy Parade Wings. <laughs> Who needs to, oh yeah, Carla, you do. You're gonna need it after tomorrow night. You may as well just wanna order it. Same day shipping. No, we don't have that. We have next day shipping though. Now, 
Lisa Lynn, didn't I just say I had to use my um, paper piercing mat? Are you a hard of hearing girl or what? It turned out good. Thank goodness, because I'm a pro. But next time I'm going to use the paper piercing mat. Yes. And I'm also going to get a little scrap of Poppy Parade because I want to stamp a tiny hello on this tiny circle. Now I'm going to cut this out with a one inch circle punch. It is retired, but you know what? You can find a one inch circle die or punch lots of different in lots of different die cut sets. So I didn't consider that like something that you couldn't find a replacement for. If I can find the word, it is tiny, right? Word. And the word is hello. Using my memento somewhere around here. Where are you? Here you are. You could use stays on. You're not supposed to use stays on with photopolymer stamps. But it's not going to like blow up if you use it a few times. Okay. So if there's something that you really, really want in a dark um, black, then go ahead and use your stays on. Just clean it off your photopolymer right away and um, don't make it a habit. Yeah. See how the L's didn't quite work on this one? Yeah. And then right here they did. That was the piercing mat. You thought I made it up. Nope, I didn't. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I don't like that. I'm going to do that one more time. <laughs> After I was chatting about how great it looked. Oh, so fancy. My, um... The mento pad might be a little dry. It's very possible. Let me try one more time. Then I'll have three to choose from. Okay, there we go. Third time's a charm. Or in my case, five. But I'm not bitter. Oh, that just fits on there. Okay. Now, I also took some other thing I have. This isn't even stamping up. How is that possible? And it's like an it's like a sixteenth of an inch punch. Okay, we have a punch. We have a couple of punch or a couple of dies, and a punch actually a label punch that has a little hole a little hole punch for this kind of stuff on it. I just thought about that. It's like label me pretty, label me. I don't know. There's two label me's and. If I would have been naming them, I wouldn't have done that because I just, that's what I call them. You know, the label me, whatever. <laughs> We're going to thread this through here and do a slip knot. So get your loop, right? And then here's the slip part. Oh, so cute. Isn't that great? Again, anything mini becomes like, you know, 10 times more adorable. Now we're going to thread this in here and we are going to get our beautiful, I mean, there's nothing that says ladybug like that, right? Now, of course, you can use real red as well. I like the poppy parade because <clears throat> the real red is in the Regals family. And I didn't say I was a Regals girl. I said I'm a Brights girl, right? Every time you're cutting out these wings, you're getting these extra bodies. <laughs> Could that be what could that be besides a ladybug I don't know okay um where my oh there it is nobody panic I thought we'd been robbed oh okay no they're not just for Halloween we have black dimensionals yeah and they work like a dream with this and of course you can glue these, you can glue the um, wings down flat, but who wants to do that when you can put them up on the body? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, I forgot to put my ribbon on. Hmm. Oh, I know what I'll do. I know. Uh, you can use this trick. It's not even, I'm not even going to charge you for it. You 
can use this trick sometime too. I know you're gonna want to. So I'm gonna take another piece of paper <laughs> and act like nothing happened, right? Oh, we're, we are gonna do over. Thanks, Kathy Sanford. Uh, you could use the turtle or the deer punch. Yes, absolutely. Punches are where it's at. Punches are fun. Now, this paper is so fun to use too with ribbon because it is, um, hello, it has lines. You can follow the lines. I want this up a little bit more just because of that tag. Okay, so are we having fun tonight, ladies? I'm having fun. I'm loving this. It's just, it's a happy, fun set to use, and you've all um, been chatting with me, and I love it. Okay, so thank you. All right, now I'm going to glue this on top of the other one. That's going to be the hardest part. That's it. But it's the same pattern, right? So even if it doesn't look exactly right, we're gonna fake it out. Ta-da! <laughs> look at me. Okay, so that's what you do if you forget to put the ribbon on your card the first time. What? Everybody's gonna go look at the cards I've sent them in the past now and be like, oh, there's a secret masterpiece underneath this. <laughs> I know Roz, they are fun and happy products for sure. Oh, so cute. So um, I'm gonna get another mystery stamping organized on the books. I just haven't had time to do that, but I will tell you right now, one thing that I've tentatively scheduled, I've talked with my ride or die assistant, Anne, and I didn't make her sign anything in blood, but um, the Stampings is gonna have a two day event in May. Yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. It's gonna be so fun. Now, it is scheduled for May 20th and 21st, which is a Friday and a Saturday. We are going to have, of course, a day of projects with what's going to be um, new uh, new products because we have a new annual catalog that's going to be coming out in June. So I will have cattle, new annual catalogs for everybody that attends. Okay, a day of projects, cards and 3D things and stuff I just don't even want to talk about because it's going to be a lot of surprises and games and door prizes and yummy food. And it's gonna be held in a nice location that has, um, it has an affordable, very nice hotel right across the street. I mean, right across the street. And um, then we're gonna have, weather, pending, weather permitting, we're going to have a backyard bingo here at my house, a bingo social, whatever you wanna call it, a get down party. And um, Tango and Ca Tango and Cash will be here. They're going to be the co-hosts. <laughs> so I mean, we're going to have fun, and then we're going to have uh, an optional add-on class for avid crafters. There's no test. You just have to, if you're interested in making an avid project, avid crafter project, then you sign up for it. So bingo, a stamping event, a catalog launch. What else did I say? I can't even remember. Oh, and an add-on project. I mean, once you come here, you might not want to leave. It's pretty much what everybody else is doing. So um, anyway, I wanted to tell you as soon as possible. So I'm telling you. Now, of course, I hate to even mention this, but with the state of the world, the way things are right now with, you know what, remind, rhymes with Rovid, if something were to happen, then yes, the event's probably going to get postponed. But it's not going to get postponed for anything on my calendar, okay? So this is this is set in stone as far as I have control over it. But 
like with everything else, I'll be communicating with you along the way. So right now, tonight's, um, tonight is just a save the date, make your plans, whatever you want to do. Tell your husband you're not available. It happens to be the weekend before Memorial Day because I thought that would be better than the weekend of, okay? And I can't make it any earlier because I need to be sure that I can get all of our beautiful new annual products. So that's the date, my friends. You will definitely be seeing more about that. And I would love to have all of you come here. Oh my gosh, like if you all wanna come, I'll make room. I don't mean you're staying here. <laughs> but I'll um, I'll make room in the event. Yeah, and I mean that for your sake, not mine. Um, I live in a 980 square foot house. I have one bedroom and one dedicated craft room, right? And two dogs that aren't used to sharing. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh, Cindy, wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so then here is, of course, and I think I did, oh yeah, I did Wink of Stella on her little wings or spots. Why wouldn't I? I was going to look up all sorts of cool facts for you about ladybugs, but you know what? It'll have to be tomorrow. So anyway, I'm very excited to tell you about that. I wanted, I wanted you guys to be kind of, you know, the first in the know. Um, and I'm really excited for it. So it'll be here before we know it. And I hope things are so much better by then, you know, right? Okay, we are one box and one card down. How about making the flower card? There's a couple things I want to show you on that that are really fun also. Um, I need some more paper. I think I have just one more square cut. <laughs> it's okay. I know I can get more where this came from, right? And another card base. Oh, come here, doll. <laughs> And I am using thick. I use basic white thick for all card bases that are white. Um, it's just, that's what it was made for. Okay, the thin is fine. Okay, it's what you wanna use when you're stamping and coloring and all of that. But I will tell you, if you try to make a card out of it and put too many elements and layers on the card, your card will fall down. It'll just like, fall down like it's been drinking too much or something, okay? So that's not what you wanna use for your card bases. What you wanna use for the card bases, of course, is the basic white thick, okay? So that's a little bit of the difference. So this is what we're gonna make now. We're gonna do a little stamping on this. Uh, I'm gonna put this underneath my grid paper, okay? Because we're gonna do some stamping off. That is Melon Mambo very intense color. You saw the card box was made out of the Melon Mambo. So it's a beautiful color. It's been with us for a while. Yes. Okay, so there is this beautiful flower in this set because, you know, there has to be a flower in the Ladybug set. And um, so again, I'm going to get it all inked up, stamp it. There's its beautiful full ink image and then I'm going to stamp it off. I'm just going to do that a few times. And finally, let's do another like partial just down here. That's it. That's as difficult as that gets. Okay. I just have to remember not to put my hand in that. All right. Hey, we'll see you later, Pat. Have a lovely night, a great weekend, very nice chatting with you. Yeah, fine, Cindy. Oh, you're talking, I'm sorry, you're talking to Roz. I was like, good, I'm glad you're serious, let's go. Uh -huh. Let's do this thing. How else do you get out to Boise, Idaho? Oh, for the love of Pete. I did it again, that's all right. Um. We are gonna put this ribbon, <laughs> we're gonna make it shabby chic. Look, I got all excited and look what happened. I f forgot my ribbon again. I'm gonna make these this ribbon just stick up on the ends. How about that? That's a look. Okay, I'm gonna give her my glue dots again. And 
I'm going to put some, I'm going to put three glue dots on this. Now, they're really hard to see. Otherwise, I'd probably be doing that trick again. I've just got it stuck in my mind that I can't wrap my paper with ribbon before I stick it down. I'm so excited to glue it down, right? Okay, so I am just going to leave the edges like raw on this. And if you were using some other kind of ribbon, then you could like um, unravel it, right? So this doesn't, does not cut very pretty, but the other side's fine. Okay, it's beautiful sparkle. Let's see if I can pick this up though, because it got a little wonky. Those lines aren't completely straight, but you can see like where it needs to be. Okay, perfect. Now we have another punch that we're gonna use. This is not part of this bundle, but it's the medium daisy punch. Don't ask me why, but we have a medium and a large. Where's the small, I ask you. Um, it's very close to this. The petals are a little bit thicker, but it's very close. And so I was like, I love it, guts to have it. And so we are just gonna cut out a couple of those in, what else, Melon Mambo. Let me get this. I want three to be exact. Let's see here. Oh, can I get three? I don't know. We'll try. If not, I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of other scraps. Like a stack, a whole stack. Okay, and then this guy. I haven't worked with the Daisy Punch in a while, but I was so glad to get it out. It's so fun. So all I did with this is I stuck them on top of each other and staggered the petals, okay? So <clears throat> just grab that one and then let me make sure I'm in view for you. And then I put this one there and then grab another glue dot. It's like a sandwich, isn't it? It is a sandwich. And then finally put this in between the two, okay? Try and keep it on the center. And then I just lightly kind of flicked. I didn't even curl these. You can curl these with the bone folder if you want them to be like really rounded and over pronounced, but I am putting these cards in a little card box. So thanks, Corinne. I appreciate that. Okay, so anyway, super cute, right? And then, um, oh, look at that. I love it not going to put it up on dimensionals because it's already poofy, right? Oh, my glue dot almost ripped off a petal. <gasps> Violence. Kish. Careful. Now, in that particular one, it's like crinkled. So I'm going to put it so that the sentiment hides it because uh, that's how, that's how crafty I am literally. Okay, now look at this tiny, it's a good day. Isn't it so sweet? And I actually, this is like the only die cutting I think I do. This die cut is, we call it around here, the Lisa Harden die cut. It's this die cut from the peach dies and um, it, it cuts on the bias. Like I cut everything on the bias, right? And so um, this teeny thing, we're going to cut out our sentiment with it and if I can find it. Again, I put these up on blocks because they are small. And when I get busy, I start, um, I kind of just set the, set the stamps aside. And look, I know me. I was like, Lisa, you will throw those in the trash. Just watch it. I want to do another one. This is such a tiny stamp. It's really easy to like kind of move your hand. You just have to go down and straight up. Okay. It's a good day to have a good day. That was free. You don't have to pay for that entertainment. I tell you what. Giving away freebies around here right and left. Okay, here's a little something something I learned from Ange McKay, one of the really fun stampers, stampin' demonstrators in Canada. Use your number three plate, okay, for the mini, and then just make your sandwich normal. You don't have to stagger the plates 
or anything and it actually it works so slick it feels much more smooth than using the regular sandwich and oh, I knew that was gonna get away from me it's so tiny it's like a human hair <laughs> so I am gonna have to tape this down that's okay a little purple tape never hurt anyone it's a good day to have a good day of course it doesn't say that but you know you fill in the blank when you send the card see and it just grabs it immediately before I kind of have to stagger if you use the number one plate so just use the number three plate I think the three plate is supposed to be for embossing but guess what it's for die cutting now because it's a good day Erk. Okay, and just like with my tiny sentiment, that's a tiny die. So we're just all about tiny tonight. I am not tiny, but you know what? I can make tiny cards, so that works for me. Okay, I think I'm going to glue this a little bit of mono. You can also use glue dots though. It's probably what I used on the first one. Thanks for the love hearts. Oh, I just saw a little guy go by that was hugging. I like that guy. That guy sums it up for me, kind of. Okay, have this going, whoops, have this going across. It's moving around a little bit. Oh, it's a good day. And let's bring in some more of those gems. Uh-oh, oh, here they are. Oh, I can see them sparkling from clear across the desk. I tell you, they're gorge. Oh, and I put one like right in the daisy because that's kind of, you know, cute. It's a perfect little center. The stamp set actually also has a stamp that is the center of the daisy. Should you want to make it two-tone? Okay, so here's the flower, of course. And then here's the center. Look at it. It's so cute. And these are just some, you know, diddly. <laughs> that's what we are. Diddly. You just sprinkle them around. Okay. So I'm telling you, this stamp set, once you start working with it, it's got a lot to offer. It's a sure, we're ladybugs, but we're a lot more than that. Okay. So let me bring in, look, card number three. Oh, so cute. We're going to use the leaf and that side facing ladybug and cut that into a tag so let's start with that one shall we i'm going to cut him or i'm going to stamp him sorry in memento and color him with the pool party stamp and blend i'm going to put him in the middle of this scrap because of the way i need to put him um the way I need to cut him out on the tag. See, so we I'm making that tag shorter than it actually is. So here's a light pool party. It's just what I liked. I didn't I didn't um blend him or shade him. I mean it's kind of a cartoony drawing, right? So it just needs one color. It's fine. This is also a place where you can make this ladybug any color you want. I'm gonna make a purple ladybug before this is all over. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Okay. This and... Yes, I made so many gnomes, I actually ran out of wobblers. And I had over-ordered on accident like a year ago on wobblers. I haven't used many since then, so... A lot of wobblers went out the door. <laughs> Andy, uh, my stamper Andy, called them bobbleheads. She said, oh my gosh, they're bobbleheads. Yes, they are. Okay. So. Oh my gosh. I mean, somebody called Van Gogh. This is some good coloring right here. Dude, don't get cocky, Lisa. Super cute. Okay, now we're going to stamp that um, green leaf. And get this. I'm going to fussy cut it. 
Yes, I am. Oh, I yeah. am. It's true. There's our card base. I can't stamp on that. So I have to get another little piece of... What are you doing in there, kid? What are you doing, kid? What was it? Tango is having fun running around. Oh, here comes Cash. He's heard me mention his name. He wants to make sure there's not a snack involved. No snacks. I got him that food. Um, so they eat like freeze dried raw food. And they always have. They're 10. And they've always eaten that. And um, so I got them some of the fresh pet food. Because Tango loves his freeze dried food. He would be happy with that every night. But Cashy, he likes a little variation. And so anyway, this fresh pet, it's, if you don't have it, it I mean, it's, it's not that exclusive probably, but it's a fresh food. They sell it at Kroger, you know, so Fred Meyer and all that business. We have it at Albertsons, which is probably Kroger too. It's probably all one big Kroger, isn't it? So in any case, it's a little package of food that really kind of smells like decent, you know? Now I love this leaf and I like how it came off with the um, uneven inking a little bit. Do you see that? I don't know if it's the stamp or if it's just how my ink pad is juiced up, but that's exactly how I like it. I don't think it's the stamp because the stamp's flat. So I think it's how my ink worked. So if you want a completely um, flat color of paint then, or ink, then you just have to probably move it around on your ink a lot. But I like that just the way it is. And I'm going to cut it out. Yes, I am. I'm going to cut it out. So yeah, anyway, um, Cash lives for treats and Tango lives for the square meals. And he wants them at a certain time too. But uh, yeah, you should have seen Cashy come alive at dinner time the last few nights because I've been giving him that uh, fresh pet stuff. And they also had some little jerky there that's really like not very tough. Because you know they're always in here for treats. You already know that. Those treats in particular, um, Cash has a, he he's one of those that like, quote unquote, wolfs his food down. So he doesn't chew it very much. And he wolfs those things down. And I've had to like go in after a couple before because they're like a glycerin stick. And I'm sure there's... You know, they have like sharp ends before they dissolve. And if he eats them whole. So anyway, I decided last night after he was choking one down, a little piece I gave him. I was like, you know what? We're not having that anymore. That's best case is going to be an expensive trip to the vet. And worst case could puncture something. So you just have to watch what the little dolls eat, don't you? And how they eat it. Because if it was up to Tango, Tango holds it in both of his hands like a little squirrel and um, spends quite a bit of time on it. And I honestly think part of that is because he wants to torture Cash with it because then Cash will go and sit by him and whine. <laughs> Lots of times when I'm in here crafting with you guys, I can hear him whining softly in the living room. And I know that he's watching Tango eat his, you know... A nighttime reward so there's a lot of that that goes on now you will see that I'm cutting really close to the line and sometimes I don't get sometimes I get a little white but I'm gonna show you a cool way to fix that okay so just don't worry about my substandard scissoring right okay and then when I get over here see how I just have part of this done now, I didn't do this the first time. I cut the whole thing out the first time. But now I know I can kind of be lazy when I get over to this stem, which is like the hardest part anyway. So, uh, super cool. Okay. Ta-da! Look at me. I can cut with my right hand, which some of you will know is quite a feat for a lefty. Okay, now I'm going to take my light... Granny Apple Green Blend and at a 
90 degree angle, I'm going to color the side. Sometimes it's nice to finish off, especially when you fussy cut something. It's kind of nice to finish it off, but then see what happens is that edge where I didn't get quite up to the ink, you don't even notice it. It just, this just adds kind of a cool little um, extra shading. It makes it look very finished and you don't see the white. I could have cut, I could have stamped this out of Granny Apple, but then of course you wouldn't see the veining. So I want both. I want both. Okay. Great. I know. Me too, Ross. They had left-handed scissors. I think I've told you they were like, you know, the same scissors that they let people use in the 40s. It was like one pair of green handled scissors and they were crap. <laughs> I get, I'm surprising that I'm a crafter after the abuse. <laughs> I, you know, I had to deal with of those left-handed scissors. Okay, so I'm gonna bring our little teeny in again, right? Because teeny's the name of this game tonight. So the mini stamp and die cut machine. And I'm gonna bring in our tailored tag punches, dies, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna use this guy. He just is the right width for our ladybug. Okay, I'm gonna get these in the right order. You don't wanna cut into number three. You just wanna use it as your base. Okay, so let's see, what did I do with this? Uh-huh, I put it at a little angle. Is this the one? No, that's not right. I was gonna say, he uh, gained some weight since the last time I cut him out. Okay, so you use the second to the smallest. There we go. That's gonna work a little better. Okay, so um, it's gonna be longer than I wanted. So that's why I cut it a little angle just for interest, right? Just because it's more interesting than straight. And still got, still got several of you with me. Very great. We're on our third card though. We won't be much longer. I just thought this was a fun way to get this little um, cartoony guy up here. Whoops. Okay, after I said, you just roll it through, no problem. There we go. Operator error. I know, Roz. You're so good. You're so good, Roz. Look, super cute. So that's the full size tag, okay? But then what I do, and you've probably seen this before if you've watched or done a lot of die cutting yourself, but this is probably new to somebody. So I'm gonna change the length of this thing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set the die cut into, this is really easy to do with these kind of die cuts because you can feel your, the dies actually lock into the cardstock where it's already cut and you can get it exactly right where you want it, okay? So that's how long I want the tag to be. All right, so let me make sure you can see this. So I lay this down, put tape on it if you feel you need to. I'm gonna put the top plate on. I'm gonna run it through just so it cuts that bottom part. I'm not gonna do a full die cut. It'd probably be fine, but we don't need to, okay? We ran through the part that we wanted cut. And then when you finish that, look at it, especially when it's a stitched die, you would not know that that is not the length of your die cut. It's perfect. It was made for doing that. Okay, so there we go. And again, these are fantastic dies. Look at them. You get eight different sizes and different toppers, but they all work together. And then one of the greatest details is that you get these reinforcement die cuts. And so you can end up making them any color you want, right? It's like going to the stationery store and getting like all custom made things. Okay, he's very cute. Okay, so one thing, let's see here. I wanted to see about this black and white gingham because I'm like wild about this ribbon. It's still available. It was in the mini catalog um, that ended in December, but it's still available. Oh, I should have been a plastic surgeon. Well, I wouldn't go that far. 
<laughs> Remember, I'm left-handed. Um, statistically, I'm thinking there's probably not a lot of left-handed surgeons. Don't you think it probably gets in the way of the whole thing? Like, you know, they say to hand you something and then, whoops, they slice your finger off. Just thinking it probably doesn't get off the ground very easily. Okay, uh, let's see. I need a... Uh, what cut, what cut was this? Two and seven eighths, right? By two and seven eighths. Remember I used my last, I used an extra piece of paper on um, a little mishap. It shall not be mentioned. What? I don't even know what you're talking about. And, um, then we're going to bring this back in. Oh, we have a tiny bit of stamping, but that's okay. <laughs> Scalpels don't have a dominant blade. I know, but like the whole room is set out a certain way, right? So I guess if you're the surgeon, you probably get to say, this, I want my room laid out, you know, backwards, or I only want to have left-handed people working with me. <laughs> you know, these are things I've not thought about before, but I'm going to ask the next time I have a surgery which I hope is never, but I doubt that will, I doubt that will be the case. Um, okay, this one, now this one I can glue down. <laughs> and of course, like, what? Oh my gosh, Amy, I know, Taylor Tag, get those Taylor Tag dies. Um, I mean, of course they're great for dies, right? For, and especially like when I'm making special things for people in classes that have their names on them. Um, they're totally adorable, but they're so versatile. You can put any little image up on a die and it just immediately becomes super cute. This one's off a little bit. It's okay. All right. Now I wanted to look at this gingham ribbon versus, I use the black iridescent and again, remember how I told you it's hard to thread through. So, um, it didn't work out so well. But what I did, and what you can do with any of your ribbons, is you don't have to thread them through the tag die all the time. If they are too thick for that, or you're afraid you're gonna tear your die, then just put glue dots up here and just glue dot them, or put tear and tape on the back, and then adhere your ribbon on that way. No, you don't. I want another slip knot here. And I love black and white gingham with this bright poppy and these bright colors. Black and white with brights, you can't go wrong. You can't go, whoops, hey, just hold on here. I also, Brene, if you're watching on replay, just notice that I am watched, or I'm using one of my um, beautiful llama band-aids. <laughs> she sent me those for Christmas, aren't they adorbs? Okay, I think that we're in the money with that. I think it's so pretty. Where is that cool leaf? Oh, look at that. Okay, I'll just glue this down flat. They are becoming a basic staple, aren't they, Roz? So I hope, as we are kind of finishing up here, I hope that this is a great reminder for you to make little cards because they're super fun. Now, no, you can't send this in the mail alone as a three by three. Don't do that. You'll never, nobody will ever see it again. Okay. But um, you can put them together in a package and absolutely you can hand them to the person, right? That's the most fun because then you can see people's reactions. And this is kind of one of those things where it's fun to see their reactions, right? Because um, they don't know what's in the box. We also, this started with a happy accident because I was just going to put these cards. We have three and a quarter inch acetate boxes in the annual catalog. And I assumed I had some. And then as I kept looking for them, I kind of remembered that I used all of them during some bingo event. I filled them with candy and I didn't have any more. And I was like, well, uh, don't cry about it, just make another box, right? Okay, so that's how I wanna kind of 
come up on that leaf. And then finally, I need a little piece of granny apple green. Let me see. Also the bride's family, of course. And um, we're just gonna stamp right on that with granny apple green also. Somebody has been messing with the rug underneath my desk. And um, my slippers were getting caught on it. Like, seriously? How am I expected to work in these conditions? Okay, you can bug me anytime, just not right now. Okay, it's on a block. It's on the little thin block. Here it is. Okay, granny apple green. And no, I know it wasn't you. Mm-hmm. It was somebody whose name rhymes with Rango and Mash. <laughs> One of them did it. It was probably Mash. Okay. Let's see if this works. No, I'm going to cut on this side. I'll tell you why in a minute. But... Oh, it's kind of cute, but it's a little crooked. And it's so small. So I cut the other one over there, but I can see the, um, I can see where I cut the angles. So thank you, Carla. Yes. Bugs are cute. And you know what? They are great for the garden. I don't need to look these facts up. I know that. Um, if you have anything in your garden that has aphids or is predisposed to having aphids, get you some ladybugs. And I assume that they're able to live all over the United States, but that's probably not true. I don't know. But we can literally buy them here at um, like an outdoor place called Zanzo's. And... They're like a lot of those things where their exoskeletons kind of, if you put them in the cold, they slow down. And so you're supposed to put them in the fridge. Not for very long. Okay. I don't think they stay in there very long. So then you, you buy them in a, like a mesh bag. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Roz. If you guys have them. Uh, so you buy them in a mesh bag and then, um, you kind of just open that bag up in your garden and they like start flying out. The only thing that's kind of creepy is if they start flying on you, like crawling up your arm. I'm not a huge fan of that, but um, you know, I mean, I just brought them home from the store so they don't even know what's going on. What, he had a ladybug nest on purpose, Corinne? Or like you just found it in the wall or something? Okay. I don't want these to be, I see I'm doing the same steps that I did <laughs> earlier when I cut this, then I cut those off. Okay. I've got to stop because it's straight enough. If I cut anymore, it's going to be cut off. Okay. So I want a couple of minis on this thing. Thank goodness. We have mini Stampin' Dimensionals. What? This is crazy. It's like Stampin' Up! is like a paper crafting company or something only the best paper crafting company in the world. Yes, we know it. So if you need any high quality paper crafting, please contact me. Even if you just want to ask me questions about it. I'm not a high pressure salesperson. I don't think so. Now I might tell you something that you might love and you might get mad at me, or I might show you how to use the ladybugs. And then all of a sudden you want the ladybugs, but that can't be helped. That's not on me. Um, however, I think it's very nice to chat with a demonstrator when you have questions because sometimes they can help you if you need like an incidental small extra thing added to your order or if maybe you're ordering something that you think you want but you actually wanted some other product. So we can help make the process efficient and sometimes save you money in the end because you're not buying a bunch of things that um, don't coordinate and go together like in the store, random store. I'm not even going to name it because there's plenty of them, right? Um, so when you go to just a random store and try to pick out craft supplies, 
they don't coordinate so well. Or if they do, guess what? They're out of the one thing you need. <laughs> so you get it all picked out and then they're out of, oh, they don't have ribbon in that color. Or, oh, too bad, that marker is, um, it's in China. It's gonna be a while. Okay, that had an, sorry, that adhesive dot was upside down. That doesn't happen very often. It was, it was, I was questioning it. Okay, and then I love these. This is really a cool way to showcase all of our small embellishments, right? I mean, they're cool. Look at this. It really takes center stage. Oh my goodness. I, you know what's cool is that I now have two of these card packages to give away. I'm so excited. <laughs> goodness, let me get rid of some of the scraps. It's embarrassing, right? I don't want you to see all that. Not really. You know, if you're a crafter, you know, there's always scraps, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, I probably lost some of you, but you know what? You probably came back for replay. And if you happen to be watching this on replay or watching on my YouTube channel, hello. Hey, I'm so glad you're here also. And if you would please like, share, subscribe, all the things you know, it really does make me happy. Um, I am up to 352 subscribers now over on YouTube. Only a few more to go, and then I can do live videos over there. Um, but it was it's so nice when I put the plea out that you guys respond. So I appreciate that so much. And I hope you love these little cards we made. You need to make some yourself. Do you not? I think you need these. Hello, you can beg me anytime. It's a good day. They all go. Let's do the test. <laughs> they all get put in here um, with their envelopes. They don't have their envelopes. And um, then you still have that little room at the top. Remember, put a little chapstick, a little fun size pack of candy or whatever you like. Well, thank you, Leslie. I love that. So I will be taking stills of these probably tomorrow or maybe tonight, but you'll see them tomorrow on my website. And so look, I'm trying to take a cute little, I'm trying to put a vignette together for you so you can see all of them. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. This was really fun. I'm gonna take a look at your comments and answer any questions if there were any. And uh, look at Kathy Sheely. She says, believe it or not, she's still here. You are my kind of people, Kathy Sheely. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Now, don't forget, I'm coming back tomorrow night. Tomorrow's the second part of a double feature. We are going to play with Hello Ladybug and a surprise stamp set, okay? And do a little embossing. Okay, everyone, don't forget, save the date, May 20th and 21st, for a very fun two-day paper crafting event. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.